Well, it's happened again. Middle school students on the Treasure Coast rushed to the hospital after eating gummy bears laced with THC. That's the ingredient in marijuana. Those cannabis edibles, by the way, are sold legally at medical marijuana dispensaries across the state. But more often, they are falling into the hands of children. CBS 12's Katie Benty joining us live outside Dan McCarty Middle School over in Fort Pierce with the latest incident and why it's such a big concern. Poison control is constantly stressing to parents. You need to keep medicated gummies in a place where kids can't get to them. Now, although new laws here in Florida have made it illegal for THC gummies to be packaged in a way that kids could easily mistake it for their favorite snack, experts say they're seeing a new problem. The older kids know exactly what these gummies are and they don't seem to care. Two Dan McCarty Middle School students ages 12 and 13 were arrested for allegedly selling THC laced gummies to classmates. Investigators say it started when a student got into a fist fight with a cafeteria employee. The police report says a young girl allegedly threw the staff member to the ground. It was later revealed the student had eaten a THC laced gummy she purchased from another student. By the end of the day, four kids ended up at the hospital as a precaution. Especially at middle school, um, you know, they, they can be uh, very curious and very capable. Um, and, and at their age, they would understand what, uh, you know, a product from marijuana is. Dr. Wendy Steven is with the State Poison Control Center. She says the THC gummies are behind an alarming increase in phone calls to her office. Pretty much every day we're receiving calls about children who are really, really sick, including in the hospital, including in the intensive care units from these high potency products and families are just shocked. This year alone, poison control has treated more than 200 minors for ingesting marijuana gummies. That's a 15% jump from last year. The latest incident comes just weeks after Oak Hammock School in Port St. Lucie rushed five kids to the hospital for the same reason. The school ended up suspending a total of 10 kids. Some of their parents claim their kids thought the gummies were nothing more than candy. It's extremely frustrating. You know, you, you think that these kids at school are her friends and she's accepting candy from her friends and it's THC. She was tested positive for THC. Experts say if you use THC gummies for medical reasons, you should take steps to hide them from your children. You want to secure it. So, you know, for an older kid, that's not going to be a cabinet lock. That's probably going to look something like a safe. It can be a metal sided safe. It can be a lock box or a lock bag. The incident that happened here at Dan McCarty remains under investigation. What's even more frightening is deputies say the gummies sold to students could have contained something even more dangerous than THC. Reporting in Fort Pierce, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News.